and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to go over the Madden market, guys. Now, things are obviously still crashing as we still keep getting new content. Free Agency Promo Part 2 should be coming out tomorrow. That's kind of the consensus that we're at least hoping for it to be out by. Because it did come out last Wednesday. So, we're kind of hoping to be out this Wednesday because Part 2 is already, it's already been a week. They're really dragging a little bit, which I really don't mind because it gives us something to look forward to. But at the same time, it can't be too long, especially if they're going to do a Part 3, which I don't think there will be. But hopefully, this covers the rest of the Free Agency Promo. Now, guys, as far as the market goes, things have been coming down a little bit, especially with people getting their free packs, their power passes. People, things, things are less valuable, obviously, like such as Lamar Jackson was here. We got power passes. We get them for free now and Redux. Now he's here. It comes down. It's like a, it's, it's a collective thing. You guys know how that works. So I really want to go through the most of the market, kind of tell you what are my buys right now, what I'm still waiting on and kind of what I'm doing. Try to build a coin stack up. Got to take advantage of this double XP. I have to start today because I definitely want to get to level 100 as quickly as possible. Because with double XP, it's just no brainer. An hour and 45 minutes, I could probably get to level 100. Maybe two hours max, depending on how distracted I am. But it's really a great time to be getting your double XP in and trying to just level up in general. Now, let me go over to the auction block and check these guys out. Now, guys, if you're into the channel, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. We've been growing pretty steadily. I really appreciate it, guys. Comment down below if you guys need any help with anything. And always give the video a big thumbs up. It really helps when you guys like the videos. Now, let's head over to 90 to 99. Let's start with the big boys first. Starting up here, Clowney's at a low point. He's not going to get much lower, guys, in my opinion, for now. Like, at this point in Madden, there's not enough 98s to justify him going low. He's pretty low for the fact that he's 98. So, you can take advantage of that if you'd like. I mean, personally, I'm waiting for Lawrence Taylor, but if you guys don't, if you guys haven't ever had Lawrence Taylor, you don't plan to have him. Your Damian Clowney is the next best thing. He's going to be very similar. Not as great, but he's going to be very similar, and he's going to be end game powered up. So, really not a bad idea at all. And the beauty of Clowning over Lawrence Taylor, by the way, is that he does fit on any team because he is theme team eligible for every team because it's free agents card. You can click on him. I'm pretty sure you can add him to any team. So, if you have a Giants theme team, toss him on there. Seahawks theme team, toss him on there. Texans theme team, toss him on there. San Francisco 49ers, toss him on there doesn't matter so that's kind of the beauty of him so if you have a theme team clown is your go-to if you have a theme team and it's not giants you go and clown it for the rest of the year because he's, he's 99 overall powered up and he'll have any chemistry so take advantage of that but he has to be powered up I'm pretty sure so make sure you do power him up in that case me and joe green another guy pretty cheap already really good defensive tackle don't know why he's so cheap but he's a great buy i think him and thomas are great buys you mean, I, in my opinion though i would wait to this saturday it's, what is it four days away wait to this saturday and just go on ahead and just wait until we get to the next ultimate legends and wait till they drop because when they drop hopefully maybe we get a few good ones they drop the market a little bit and when ultimate legend packs are out they will come down a little bit or you could buy their pieces and make them for a much cheaper price than he probably goes for stock right now but i definitely think they're great buys. you get a 99 overall defensive tackle and a 99 overall powered up left tackle for under 300k probably on legend saturday that's a great great buy in my opinion next joe Dooney's a little more expensive probably because he's one of the best linemen in madden stats don't dictate that he's the best lineman in madden but overall wise he's gonna be one of the best linemen in Madden you get him and Joe Thomas your left side of the line is locked up for the rest of the year super solid right there now moving on down as far as Mahomes Nitro Lane Nitro Lane is a pretty great price the thing with Nitro Lane though is that I feel like he's just he's no competition like he if he had more Nitro Lanes on the block he'd be cheaper but he's the only one so in my opinion when it, come, when it comes to Nitro Lane I'm probably gonna end up using a power pass him because I really don't know where his price can go from here it could go up it could go down I really don't know what's gonna go on with him so I'm probably using my power pass play it safe and as far as Mahomes, guys, like I said, if you don't think you're ever going to afford a golden ticket, if you don't think you're ever going to afford uh, a Lamar Jackson or anything, guys, no joke, go on ahead, use your power, 99 power pass on Mahomes right now, or just buy him. Buy him for 650k and enjoy the ride. Going to be honest with you, probably the best case scenario is to do that because of just the pure value you're getting. A 99 overall quarterback, every he can do everything. Amazing abilities, can do everything, every throw, can run. For a pretty, for a pretty great price, not going to lie. And he'll be end game for you. And then your 99 pass, you can always take it off from later on. But for now, golden tickets, you cannot, you do remember, you cannot use power pass on golden tickets. People are saying, why? Because you can't power up golden tickets. So you can't use a power pass on golden tickets. So do not anticipate to save that 99 ticket for that or your 99 pass for that. So you want to use it on someone right now. You can only really use it on Mahomes. If not, you got to wait till 99 to start dropping because they could end up dropping like a 99 Lawrence Taylor Ultimate Legend. Going to be some stuff. Now, as far as Lamar Jackson goes, 700K. Good price, guys, but in my opinion, it depends, right? So you could wait until his golden ticket comes out because that should drop his price a little bit. But the other issue with that is that he might not come out right away. They might bracket the golden tickets over 10 weeks. And if they do so like that, you might not see it for 10 weeks. And at that point, 
didn't matter you know what i'm saying so you could go either route in my opinion though if you want lamar use your power passing them for now and rock with him at 99 overall powered up until you're bored or until something else comes out and they get rid of him in my opinion you don't spend money on these lamars yet still way expensive when golden tickets come out, especially quarterbacks are a weird position right now because there's a lot of golden tickets coming out a lot of stuff coming out i'd recommend you just rock with you rock with power passes for now play with them see what you like and if the thing come out and you don't like them stick with them that's it set and buy his card actually when he's cheaper that's the other thing test out lamar for now and then like a month let's say the golden tickets everything's out and you want those or you let's say you don't want those perfect take the power pass out and now you can buy lamar for probably 450 probably a lot cheaper now or you do end up liking him you keep the power pass on if you're still expensive it, it, it's a win-win i feel those are like a trial card where you can just replace later on christian Okoye, guys he's a great fullback best fullback in madden by far i highly recommend everyone should get him but not at this price a million coins is absurd again you could use your power pass but do you want to waste on a fullback guys stretch with Okoye leading the way is very great because that's the issue with Corey Celestia and a few guys too slow he can't get to the outside Christian uh, Christian Okoye will get to the outside before your running back does he's strong enough to hold he, I don't know how much strength applies to but I feel like it just wraps everything together he has 90 run blocks so he's gonna hold the block he has 94 lead blocks so you can put them on their ass and 98 impact blocking as well so you can put them on their ass guys it's, it's kind of a no-brainer in my opinion I think he's the best fullback in the game you could literally use him as like you can use him for anything really he's he's, he's such a well-rounded um fullback but the issue is a million coins too rich for my blood now coming on down to the 96 97s oh clicked the wrong one right there we haven't been in this category in quite a while okay come on come on 96 97s let's see what we're rocking with over here i know obviously these cards are gonna be a lot cheaper just in general just because of the nature of where we are at madden right now free agency cards of course super cheap ultimate legends guys are super cheap if you ever want to get any or power them up now would probably be the time there's just some really great values of ultimate legends here like chuck benardrick he obviously chuck ben Air, chuck ben Eric, sorry he sucks. I wouldn't recommend him, but like guys like Brian Urlacher really wasn't that bad. For 159, guys, a pretty decent middle linebacker. He has great zone, great hit power. You can probably leave him alone, honestly. Power him up, leave him in his own little spot. Powered up with sprint, he'll get 93 speed. He'll have like a 94 zone coverage with you put locked in on him. With 92 hit power, with 90 blocks, you'll be able to play the run. It's tall, play the zone, hit. Honestly, a really solid looking linebacker just in the zone, especially if he's your second kind of guy. Troy Polamalu with 200k, great value. Warren Sapp to 20, great value. Walter Jones is a great value. Calvin 226, great value. Again, guys, when it comes to Ultimate Legends, though, the great values now. So you know what that means? If you wait till Saturday, you could probably get an amazing value on them. Eric Dickerson, another great value. One of the best running backs in Madden right now. Wait till Saturday, definitely can get a really great buy on him. Now, Team of the Years are one of the few guys that haven't really came down too much yet, which is kind of weird. Team of the Years should have come down by more, but you know what it is? Their cards are required in most other cards for later in the year. So they're kind of, people love modern day players. Like these have come down obviously now. But they, they took a while to come down, but that's because they were always high overalls, and people love modern day players. These are the last things, like theme teams and stuff. They hold they hold their own, especially over some other cards. Are there decent values here at this point? Not exactly. There's not many decent values anymore because these cards are kind of played out. Jamal Adams is still decent. He's not bad at all, but I don't think I'd, I'd have him on my team still. Um, some of the linemen are still usable, like Braden Smith. There's some decent linemen on here that you can get for a pretty decent value. Although at this point, I'm probably sticking with most of the Ultimate Legends. Calais Campbell's still a great value just because you can get into his NFL honors, which would be a 90. You can power him up to like a 98, and then Kem Dub probably like a 99. Super, super good value just for a, a left end because you don't have to buy his NFL honors. Kittle's still great because he can run block and he's fast. He's just a great all around guy to have as your number two receiver, uh, number two tight end, sorry. But I, I don't want to commit to anything just yet on, as far as pricing goes because I know I know there's still opportunity for things to come down even more. So I'm kind of just waiting on that. Probably going to start selling some pieces off so I can rebuild my team a little bit at a later point. Because I'm probably not going to play this for like two weeks. I'm probably going to save coins, wait for golden tickets, and then buy buy a stack team. It's kind of my kind of my goal here for the most part. But guys, I think that pretty much wraps up most of the high overalls I want to look at. There's really not much more. Ones that haven't really come down too much are the theme builders too. And I mean, that's just because of the way they're built. I mean, they, they're built by other cards. So they're always going to retain a certain value. And until those other cards drop, which is kind of weird they haven't yet. But until they do, we're not going to see too much of that, especially like guys like Saquon still holding a pretty tremendous value compared to what we've seen in Madden at this point, like 296 for 97, still pretty high, not insanely high, but still pretty high. Ultimate Legends for 97 overall is like 220. He's definitely above them. These cards are definitely all above their margin of where they should be based on their training value. But it is what it is. Guys like Saquon, you probably want to choose your power pass on for the time being until we have a sure thing. But guys, that is about it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the new boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys. It helps the channel out tremendously. Helps us grow. Helps the videos do well. So I appreciate each and every one of you that always like the videos. 
Comment down below if you guys have any questions, and hit me up on Twitter if you guys have any other questions outside of Madden. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to check out my earlier video, which around 10.30. I don't know what it's going to be yet, because we're still waiting to see if there's going to be content, but should be good. Make sure to check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.